Hey guys, it's your girl Lang Yin. Before I show you my Get Ready With Me video, I just wanted to check in with you guys and share a couple of things. First of all, it's been 50 plus days in quarantine now and the pandemic is still here. We still have a long way to go to flatten the curve. People are being affected in so many different ways. For me personally, it's been an emotional and mental roller coaster. But I also understand that for a lot of people, it's so much worse. That being said, I wanted to share with you that I'm working with Help Our Heroes, a nonprofit that is raising funds to provide medical grade PPEs to various hospitals across Luzon and Visayas. I personally am trying to raise 100,000 pesos for the Novaliches District Hospital to support them with 200 sets of suits and masks. I understand that it's a difficult time for everyone, but if you can pitch in 100 pesos, 500 pesos, 1,000, any, any amount will do. And it will really go a long way in supporting our frontliners, especially those who are still in need of equipment and assistance. So I will be putting all of the donation details below in the caption. I hope you guys can help us out. I will also be doing my own part in sharing and hopefully you can also share this message. Let's protect our heroes. Let's do this. Let's If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're an old subscriber, welcome back. My name is Aileen Bernos and I do videos on travel, lifestyle, and confidence every Monday at 6 p.m. Wow. But not now because we're in quarantine and it's been crazy for everyone. But anyway, today I am doing a get ready with me video with you guys. I actually asked a bunch of questions over at Instagram at Aileen Bernos if you haven't followed me yet. Some of you guys sent me questions and I'll be answering them today while I do my work from home makeup. Is that what it is? Maybe. So, shall we begin? We shall. First things first, let me pull up Instagram. Second thing second, I already moisturized my face, if you guys are wondering. I use Celatec Hydration, that's all I use, and a toner for those of you who are wondering about my skincare routine. I'm breaking out a little bit because I, I haven't been sleeping well, to be honest. Before anything else, what I want to do is put on some lip balm because my lips are dry as well. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Hi, we're so much closer now. Hello. I'm using Elana Mineral Cosmetics Beauty Cooling Beauty Balm over here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this again. <laughs> so how do you make sound effects? First question is from Kyrene, Virginia. She asks, how are you coping with everything that's been happening lately? Hope you and your family are safe. Well, it's been it's been like a roller coaster, if anything, because I've had some really, really good days where I've been productive and I've been doing so much stuff, learning, planning, lots of amazing Netflix binging and reading as well. But I've also had days where I was just confused about what I needed to do. There's just so much uncertainty. So for my base, I'm not going to be using any foundation, just this <laughs> refill pack for Elana's the, the concealer from Elana. The shade is, I believe, Smile. And I'm going to be using that as uh, a concealer. So just under my eyes, here, 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 and the usual spots. I can't really see if I have anything that I need to cover. I am okay, there. Because I don't really use foundation, especially if it's not like a, a night event. <laughs> Since I'm going to be home anyway, this is fine. Okay, next question is from Santa Sirea. Please give me some tips on how to deal with rude workmates. The best thing you can do is set your boundaries. Because you need to let them understand and really know what you're okay with so if they do something wrong to you like if they say something bad immediately call them out i think a lot of the time we we just like having that sense of peace and we like to avoid conflict 
but by avoiding conflict, we also allow others to treat as to treat us badly and that's not a good thing so you need to dictate what you're comfortable with and what you're okay with this is just a job this doesn't have to be your barcada okay from april aquino triggers coming up for you this lockdown how have you been dealing with it okay before i answer that i'm still thinking about the answer i'm gonna be using alana's oh you can see yourself loose mineral foundation you can see yourself ah, this is amazing everything amuses me <laughs> nothing is not cool anymore in the shade almond latte yeah so i'm just gonna put it a little bit here and then use my fluffy brush to spread that across my face. I feel like I say this all the time, but the good thing about this product is that whenever this sets in my oily face, it really gives off that dewy glow, which I love because it's stunning on Morena's skin. So I think I have become a little more self-critical during this period because I don't have distractions anymore, you know? I used to have my hobbies, <laughs> rock climbing. I used to have rock climbing to help me release and distract myself and get me tired. But because I just, you know, I am indoors a lot and I can really think about things now, it oftentimes leads me to conclusions that I don't necessarily like about myself, which is why I haven't been on YouTube for a while. I just, I haven't been feeling very sunny lately i thought this this is one thing that has helped me so a friend gave me this advice he says start where you are use what you have and do what you can because i keep going back to pre-quarantine life you know telling myself if this is if this didn't happen i would be here already or my progress would have been this or you know but if I keep holding on to what should have been pre-quarantine, nothing's gonna happen for me. So I just need to adapt really quickly and see what I can do to get better and make the most of this time. But at the same time, you know, to, to be kind to myself and allow myself to not be the best during this pandemic, it's fine. You know, I'm still me, I'm still me and it's all gonna work out. From it's me Joanna S. How's your business? How do you cope with this pandemic situation? Business wise, oh you guys. Okay, now let's do contour. I'm using a Happy Skin's Feeling Sculptacular palette. As for my business, I had to pause operations because for a while it was hard to get deliveries out and also my assistant can't join me anymore at work because he lives he, he lives, uh, he doesn't live with us, so obviously I can't have him go in and out of the house because my, my office is also in the house. The main struggle is restarting and figuring out a way to make customers happy despite the situation. I am using this time to plan instead so that when the extended community, community quarantine is lifted, I can act accordingly and I can hit the ground running. From Sab Bernardo, tips to maintain that morena glow. My number one tip is always to know your shade. I think it's important that we know exactly what we're supposed to be wearing, like the, the shade that we're supposed to be wearing, because oftentimes we get like a shade lighter because a, a lot of morenas and even sales ladies, you know, we tend to go for the lighter shade, we sell that more, or sometimes it's just not available for us. And so when that happens, we dull our bronze glow instead of enhancing it. So I think that's important. And number two, of course, skincare. Skincare, skincare, skincare. And Kilai, let's do my Kilai. Okay, so for my brows, I'm gonna be using Elana's dark brown pencil. It looks like this. It's and I, I really like this because it's so they, they used to have like a pomade, but now it's the same formula, but it's like this. It's retractable. But very nice. Ali JYB, do you have any tips on how to cope with unproductivity during this time? I think making a plan and sticking to a routine is good 
Pero kasi ako, honestly, I have to tell you guys, I haven't been doing that properly, I think, in the last couple of weeks. Parang during the beginning of the quarantine, I, I set a pretty good routine. And I've been following it really well, but it got to a point where I was like, oh my gosh, this is never gonna end. And I felt really bad that I just stopped uh, following my routine entirely. I, I stopped trying and I kind of wallowed in my misery for a while, but you know, that's that's life. Sometimes you just, lot of, you just have to uh, allow yourself to, to feel things and that's okay. So I think if you do get to that unproductive phase, it's important to give yourself a deadline on when you're gonna stop. Like for example, last week, I, I, I hit rock bottom, I think, of this whole ECQ and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna give up this week and start next week. Like, stay productive next week, get back on track, planned. I planned my whole week, I, I recorded this video, I talked to some really amazing friends who are so inspiring. I recorded my podcast with Riza, which was amazing. She, you know, she, she has given me so much perspective and really great advice too. So, again, I think you just need to shake it off and not blame yourself for being unproductive and being sad. You know, because if we shame ourselves for feeling that way, then we only follow that downward spiral as opposed to, you know, dig ourselves out of that hole. And I think at this point, we have to focus on just being kinder to ourselves because what are we going to if we're already feeling this way and we're already helpless, stop us. Man, like you're not gonna kick your best friend who's feeling down, you know? Like you're not you're not gonna make them feel even worse. So don't do it to yourself. See, I should follow that advice. <laughs> My eyesight is not good, so I I don't know how this is. From Bianca Gar. Hello Ayan, miss your productivity videos. Why are you not uploading lately? Sending love. Well, I haven't been uploading lately because I was pretty sad, I think. And alam nyo, ang lagi ko masinasabi. I try to be as authentic as possible. And when I face you guys, when I film, I want it to be because I genuinely want to film and I feel like talking to people, you know? Because if I just film for the sake of having something to upload, it's not gonna be from the heart. It sounds so cheesy, but I, I just, I can't force myself to film if my my, dispos my disposition is not good. I, I try to be in the best mindset before I film because I just, I, I can't do it. Like, I really admire people who can, you know, cry in, on camera and be sad in front of the camera, but that's just not me. The world is already crazy and I don't want to add to that negativity. So whatever negativity I have, I pour it out on my journal, you know, and then once my perception has shifted and I feel a little better, then that's when I film. That's when I create again. From C Cassandra29 or Cassandra29, what's the life lesson you learned currently? Ooh, I learned. Okay, sorry, my blush is from Pink Sugar. The shade is Miss Independent. You can't see it, but it's right here. I really love this shade. It's not too red. Okay, so the most recent life lesson that I learned is probably to live a principle-centered life. And I learned that from The 7 Habits of Highly Effective People. It's a really great book. Most people, you know, we sometimes the center of our lives are other people, our spouse, our boyfriend, our girlfriend, our children, our family, our career. But these things don't really allow us stability because if we center our lives around those things, other people's moods, other people's feelings, our purpose and our self-worth will fluctuate over and over and over and over. But if we set our lives on our principles, our, our main values, for me that's integrity, service, 
kindness, compassion, those things, your, your principles, your life principles, they're not going to change. They shouldn't change. So you need to have something at the center of your life that's changeless that's not attached to somebody's erratic moods. So yeah, I think that's it. Because for the longest time, I've been centering my life on my ambitions and my career and what I want to do basically. And so it's been hard. It's been a crazy roller coaster. So I want to shift from that perspective to this new one and just focus on my values and let that direct where I want to go. Okay, for my eyes, I want to do like a peachy look. So we're going to use Everbellana's matte color stick in the shade Doll Face. This is perfect for Morena skin if you guys don't know that already. It's like this terracotta red. Next question is from N.A. Cruz. What has been your new productive this quarantine season I think okay so what have I done that's been productive I took a course I am taking a course on Coursera so it's the fundamentals of project planning and management from the University of Virginia so if you guys don't know Coursera.org is a website that allows you to enroll in classes in universities so actual like these are actual classes in universities and you can learn from actual professors in those universities so i'm learning about project management so i have a more formal knowledge of how to get things done because based on my experience i am more on the creative side i'm not that big on the project management side so i kind of wanted to learn more about that and yeah so I think it's been good. I just finished with week one. I ano ba hindi yun naman sinabi magulo palabida. I just finished with week one, and it's been great. I'm learning so much. But week two is going to be all about. What was week two going to be about? Um, yeah, for week two we're gonna be developing a plan and scoping a project. Interesting, interesting. From Andrea Golioso. Hi, current learning. Hi, currently learning Spanish. Any tips? Um, I think it's so important for you to be actually using the language. So for me, when I was in Spain, obviously I used it. But since I am back here, my practice has been trufalito mi perro. <laughs> eh, hablo español con mi perro y este una una method <laughs> un, un method para practicar mi español okay one more thing that you can do is to practice with google translate so you use the voice input option and then speak in spanish if it recognizes your sentence then you're good I also love watching uh, TV series in Spanish. So recently I finished the the latest season of Elite and La Casa de Papel. So it's been it's been awesome. Okay, so now I'm just gonna blend that out real quick. Sabi ko simple peachy look. That's the game. Boom. Ano na naman to? The contour shade for my cheeks. I'm gonna use that on my eyes. The corners lang. From SC Joy, how do you deal with the pressure of getting your life together and to stay productive? Oh my god, girl. It's hard. It's really important to have good people around you because that really makes a lot of a big difference. I feel very grateful that I have a supportive family, great friends, inspiring friends who pursue their ambitions as ambitiously as I do and I think it's it's great because I can run to people for advice or if I need a sounding board it's I feel so grateful that they're willing to listen and I can ask for help anytime so yeah I think finding the right people to support you is step number one from Ben Sumo how are you mentally and emotionally during this quarantine <sighs> mentally getting enriched because I've been consuming so much knowledge and so much and I've been <laughs> I've been attending my Toastmasters meetings I've been pra practicing public speaking I gave a few workshops actually the last like 
the, the week before last week and that's been really productive but after that I I went back to feeling kind of helpless so yeah it's, it's just fluctuating it's all over the place there's no certainty <laughs> but I'm trying really hard from <laughs> from hey it's Marge Sabinia dating life update girl I wish I had something to say to you but I don't <laughs> I realized with the whole situation, I don't really need a boyfriend anytime soon because I have so much more that I need to accomplish and do and a boyfriend is just not gonna make things easy for me, you know? Like, I can't even take care of the people in my life currently, they take care of me, so I don't want to set the foundation first and be able to work on myself properly before I decide to go out there again. Like, having no dates for 50 days now. <laughs> Ang tagal na ng, ano, tagal na natin indoors. And I realized it's not that big of a loss to not have to go on dates. In fact, I'm quite relieved that I don't have to meet new people right now or like meet new guys to be specific. It's just, from Leslie Abeliana, is it okay that I haven't done something productive this quarantine? Girl, it's so, so okay. As long as you're okay with it. You know, I think the biggest struggle we're dealing with is that we keep comparing ourselves. We're hyper aware of each second that's ticking by. And we keep thinking to ourselves like, I could be doing so much more. I could be doing so much more. But do you really have to be doing something right now? I mean, if that's what's required for you to feel okay emotionally, mentally, then take this time. Like, we are conditioned to go to school for 12 years, and then after that, college for four years, and then after that, we work our butts off every single day and only take weekends off. So, we have this unusual time in our history, in our lifetime, that we get to do nothing, 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 and stay indoors. Well, it sucks that some of us, you know, I, it's, it's so normal to feel helpless and guilty, and I struggle with that too. Like, I feel like I shouldn't be doing more, I should be contributing more, but feeling bad about it is not gonna change anything, and it's not gonna, it's not gonna make anything better. So, we need to accept that this is our reality for now, and be ready for the time for the time when we'll be in a better position to to make better choices but yeah if this is the best we can do then allow yourself to to accept it my mascara by the way is from maybelline new york new <laughs> the hyper curl waterproof mascara from isabella gab how do you increase productivity during this pandemic like I said, um, creating a routine. Mayroon pa ba kong ibang tips? Doing activities with other people. If you get somebody else involved with your activity, then accountability kind of rises. Your sense of it, accountability rises a little bit and you're more encouraged to do something. So for example, I used to work out with my sister. I stopped because I felt bad, <laughs> but I think I might start again. Um, but yeah, I was really, really productive with my exercise when I was doing it with my sister. When my brother got me to read a book, I finished it so we can discuss it. And yeah, it's been, it's been awesome. Like it's a sense of community and it's so important now that we have it. From Serendipity29, how do you manage your funds for traveling? How do you sort how much and when? I do my research really well. I figure out what I want to do, how much I want to spend per day, how long I'm going to be there, how much my flight's going to be, if I have any expenses. And then once I've set that budget, I try my very best to stick to that budget. I, I mean, I would draw cash before I fly unless it's abroad because with abroad I have to um, exchange currencies and stuff but if I were to go anywhere in the Philippines I'll withdraw my budget stash them in different places for safekeeping lock them up 
and then I'll have a I'll have a small emergency fund that I'm not supposed to touch whatsoever whatever happens and I try not to touch that emergency fund also there's so much free tours and free activities so maybe prioritize them over things that you have to spend on from Arky dog zero how to gain confidence over our skin well I think it's important to find role models that make us feel empowered another thing is what I did was to put myself out there and really find activities that enhance my glow as opposed to hide it because before I used to hide from the sun like I would avoid the sun because I didn't want to tan but now I do everything outdoors like I hike I surf I I just I love anything that will get me under the sun and that's helped me embrace what I have also I think it's important to fo focus on our skills and what we have inside as opposed to outside so sorry can you hear truffle hey baby Say hi. Say hi. Hi. Hello, friend. No, no humping. For it is by art we trust. What age do you plan to retire? I haven't actually thought about that. I want to have, I don't know, like, I want to gain financial independence by 35 so I can continue working without worrying about money. If that makes sense, but I think I'm gonna be working for the rest of my life. I love working. I, 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 I love it. I, I. <laughs> okay, next question. Would you consider being a maid but traveling around Europe for free with five digit salary and peso? I don't think I can do it, mostly because I really value my independence. Like, I love my free time and my space and my boundaries. And while I admire anyone who will do that, it's, it doesn't suit my personality. I like being able to grab my laptop and go. So, no, I, I don't think I can do it. Would you rather be in love or be rich? <sighs> Quite frankly, <laughs> at this point in my life, I'd rather be rich. I don't love. I mean, I have my family, my friends, I have you guys. I don't know what romance can offer me at the moment. I would rather be financially independent. <laughs> okay, so for my lipstick, I'm going to be using BYS's Lux Lips Ultra Matte Lipstick. Red. Para matapang tayo today. Truffle and a bit. How to explain to work that you want your time alone and don't want to be bothered? Headphones. I love headphones. How to begin a career in digital marketing, Laluna, if bug career shift. I think it's important to equip yourself with knowledge. So take those free courses online, get to know the market, the industry by doing your research and actually studying it. Truffle! Nevis babe, your videos are so good. Mind sharing your love languages. My love languages, I love this. So my giving is acts of service. I love doing stuff for my loved ones. I love um, driving them and being of service to them. My receiving is words of affirmation. If I, like the most important thing for me is to hear that they appreciate my acts of service. To hear a thank you is super special to me and that's that's just my favorite you don't have to give me a gift you don't have to pay for anything you don't have to you know give me time or quality time like if we're long distance that's fine too but i would appreciate a thank you i love a thank you i love a good thank you again you're right thank you so much music to my ears from k espinosa any dating tips dating app tips Dating app tips, I don't know if there's anything that I can give that's that's good because I feel like I'm not an expert at it. I haven't found you know a success story from it. I mean I've been on a lot of dates from dating apps, but <laughs> I guess don't catfish ever. I always put 
pictures with me with no makeup on. I put pictures of me with my natural curves and just very, very natural. I try to, I don't edit my pictures to seem a certain way because my biggest fear is to give other people a fa like false expectations about me and I'd rather let them see something that looks a little worse in pictures and then see me in person and be like whoa she actually looks better yeah from Gigi na 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 how do you keep yourself entertained these days I've been reading a lot I finished A Court of Thorns and Roses the the four books and then I also finished Six of Crows, which is amazing and then Crooked Kingdom which is the sequel to Six of Crows they were both really good and I highly recommend them. <laughs> what else? I've been reading a lot, watching a lot of Netflix. I am currently watching the finale of Hollywood. So if you guys haven't watched that yet, I highly recommend. All right, Happy Skins Feeling Sculptacular Face Contour Kit Highlighter. Ta-da. Nose, a little bit on the nose. <laughs> I've, been I've been practicing my transatlantic accent. I think it's fabulous. I I'm gonna do a dialogue from Mulan. Let me know if you know this scene. I knew there was something wrong with you. A woman, you treacherous snake. My name is Mulan. I did it to save my father. Hi, treason. Please, I didn't mean for it to go this far. Ultimate this honor. It would be. <laughs> I know about transatlantic accent or I know about. <laughs> it was the only way. Please believe me. Captain Charat. Oh, hi, anyway. Yeah, so that's all the questions. And this is the look. watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope i can make more for you in the next couple of weeks oh just so you know i'm also active on spotify our podcast camp confidence radio is up and running every week sunday night thank you so much don't forget to stay confident bye